As at the time of making this video, my father is an octogenarian in his 80s. He was born by poor parents and he too is poor, so growing up, I never knew a single day when my father had enough money for our needs. Needless to say, we were always in recession. Now think about this for a moment. Economic recession is a myth. It's not real, even though it's very real. This is what I mean. It doesn't matter what happens in your country. What matters most is what happens in your home. Even though economists agree that recession happens every four to five years, growing up, my family is almost always in recession. Now the opposite can be true too. You can build a life that is recession proof. You can build a life which economic recession doesn't affect at all. And that's what I want you to see in this video by sharing with you three kinds of people that will suffer most during this recession. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel, which is designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Those who pay other people first Growing up as a child, my mother always told me, don't eat with your 10 fingers. The meaning of that adage is, don't spend all you earn. I knew what she meant at that time but I didn't understand how important it was until I grew up and started having financial responsibilities. Today, I eat with my one or two fingers. When it comes to keeping and investing money, I should be considered an extremist but most people in the world are just my opposite. They spend as fast as they earn. In fact, some spend faster than they earn. I understand. Everyone believes that they would save or invest money if they earn a little more than they are earning now. Unfortunately, that's like saying you will stop sleeping with different girls when you get married. It doesn't work that way because it's a habit. Saving money isn't much about how much you have but about your money habits or your money mindset. What is your money mindset? My life has always been about earn, invest and spend. I only spend whatever remains after I've invested and often time it doesn't remain much so I hardly have much to spend. Opposite is true for most people. Their financial mindset is earn, spend and try to save. Often time, there is nothing left to be saved or invested. That's what Judge Classen said, pay other people first. People who pay other people first will suffer whenever there is a financial crisis in their personal life or in their country. Think about this, what do you do first? After you earn money, if I can know what you do first after you earn money, I can know your financial status. That is your financial mindset. Earn invest and spend or earn spend and invest two those who have low paying skills robert kiyosaki told a story about how someone asked him what advice he had for an average investor and his response was don't be an average investor this is true regardless of your industry or field if you are average meaning you are like everyone else well when the weather goes bad economically your job or business is at risk however if you're having some high paying skills you might not even know what the weather looks like outside because you will be under the umbrella of the most high. When I started out as a speaker and writer, since I am an entrepreneur, I often speak or write as though everyone should be an entrepreneur. However, when I grew up and got more insights into how life works, I discovered that not everyone can be an entrepreneur. More so, you don't have to be an entrepreneur to be rich or happy. But there's something you have to do and that is, you have to strive to become one of the top 10% in your industry. This is about acquiring valuable skills. Then, someone will ask me, what is a valuable skill? This is like asking, what is the best food in the world? The answer is, it depends on which part of the world you live in and who you are. For example, if I was in the technology industry, being the best guy when you're talking about coding, web design, app development, means that if everyone loses their job, I will remain valuable. If I'm a salesperson and I learn, study and master the art of sales so much that I'm among the top 10% salespeople in my company, well, no crazy company fire best salespeople and if I'm fired, a hundred other companies seriously need me right now that the market is difficult. Over the last one and a half decade, I have studied entrepreneurship, marketing, human and their buying psychology deeper than 97% of the people in the world. What it means is that, I tend to know how to create things that people want to buy. What this also means is that, while economic recession can affect me, it will probably not break me. You can get my point here, don't you? You don't have to be an entrepreneur, a musician, an athlete or other people you think are rich, but you have to strive, study and work smart to become one of the very best people in your field. 3. Those who think money doesn't matter I spent about 3 years of my life in a particular church where they preach that money doesn't matter. No, they won't directly say that money doesn't matter but they might say something like, money is the root of all evil. 
you will take nothing out of life which is come with sin in fact a christian brother once told me that anyone who has money is close to hellfire i know you might not hold some of these extreme views about money but that doesn't mean that deep within you you take financial freedom very seriously several years ago when i decided to become rich i never cared about fast cars or expensive mansion i don't care about becoming a billionaire or anything like that the only thing i wanted was to have enough money to make me stop worrying about money I just wanted to have a little more than enough and my desire to achieve that goal was as strong as my desire to live. I mean, I always believe that money is like oxygen. You don't need too much of it and you don't need it after you're dead. But if you don't have enough of it, you cannot live. Yes, nobody takes money with them when they die. Yes, nobody can spend a billion dollars on food in a lifetime. Yes, nobody needs the $100,000 Rolex watch. But if you don't have enough money to cover your basic expenses and a little more, you can't be a truly happy human. The name of the game is called desire, burning desire. If you don't have a strong and burning desire to build wealth, you won't build it. And when times like this comes, you are likely to suffer. Change your money mindset. Stop paying other people first. Increase your value in the market. Acquire relevant skills which others in your field don't. Have a burning desire to be financially free. And just before you go watch other videos on YouTube, if you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel on TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.